Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Asian K. I'm uh, playing uh, Rose and Chris Dilet uh, for the Inside Show. A game made by Erka er er Yes, I think. And yeah, right now I managed to beat the uh, five boss uh, from the RKS uh, team here. So I'm gonna continue playing. Uh, well, I'm gonna continue facing uh, our boss. This time, the boss that will face will be Grola's uh, fart. So yeah gonna fight against her. There you go. Oh, she carry out like a black Zor. Well, evil Zor. And like the first ga like the first game, uh, her stage is pretty much like pretty much like a dark and gloomy and all that. Yeah. Which kind of fits the setting of her stage in general and her personality as well. Wait. Okay. Ah, oh, my god. I think I messed it up with the keys. There you go. I got this right. Oh, is that Archer from the Ghost and Goblin series? Wow, there's a lot of reference in this stage here. Oh my god. I messed it up. Come on. Okay, there you go. Take this. Oh, falling that front. Take this. I'm gonna take the help. There we go. Oh wow. Just fell down. Without without the chains. That's uh sustain him. Okay, cool. And yeah, those uh, spears kind of remind me to those uh, needles from uh, Needle Stage from Mega Man 3. Another reference. Oh my god, that hurts. And this, those uh, chopping enemies uh, from that platform kind of remind me to uh, Hardman Stage from uh, Mega Man 3. Oh shit. Fucking boss here. Yeah, this this one looks like uh, the last boss from the Ghost and Goblin series. Oh my god. Come on, beat it, beat it! Oh, I'm gonna die. Two lines of health left. I need help. I'm going to die. Oh yeah, help. Cool. Yeah, for the main weapons like uh, the ice pickle that I'm using right now, you cannot really shoot another direction than left or than right, unless you're taking other weapons. Then that would be another story. Hey, help! Oh my god, zombies everywhere! Okay, cool. Yeah, you have to be very careful uh, where you're jumping and moving because uh, the platforms are quite slippery because of all those bloods that is raining down from the sky. Ah, uh, I'm sliding down here, fighting against those uh, skulls. Are shooting those uh, bouncing balls. Well, not really bouncing balls. Projectile balls. Okay, cool. Yeah, this one uh, you will get some reward if you manage to get through to the upper floor. Like the cross tank here. I don't know if I can use the weapon right now. No, it's not the right weapon. Let's see, how about this one? No, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, cool. No. No. I don't think I have, I have any weapons to open that uh, seal here. I mean, break that seal. Oh, 
Ah, I thought it was like a hell that I would get as a reward. Okay, anyways, boss time. I have one live left. This is not my last live, but like before my last live. So I need to be more careful. Oh wow. Judging by her eyes, it seems that uh, she's been uh, possessed by something. Oh, she got possessed by her uh, grandfather or father. I don't know. Alright, yeah, she's quite dangerous to fight. You just have to follow the pattern that I'm doing right now. Well, I didn't do it perfectly, but uh, you get the idea. Oh my god. Bastard. There you go, eat this. Oh my god. Yeah, this is like the most dangerous part of the fight here. You just have to pay attention. Oh my god. I don't think I have enough health to be here. Oh my god. Die, bitch! There you go, I managed to beat her. Damn, I was lucky. I only have like three lines of help. Yeah, I managed to beat her. She's like one of the most dangerous boss, if you're not careful enough. Alright, I got a reward, and... The name of the weapon is Ice Words. It's a very close range weapon, but it's still powerful enough. Okay, so next boss I'm facing will be uh, Sight. So here we go. Sight. Alright, cool. Bring it on. Oh, cool. I kinda like the soundtrack to this uh, stage here. Oh, this is like Sparkman reference here from Megami 3. Alright, moving platforms. Not so bad. I guess this is the theme of the of her stage here. Moving platforms everywhere. Whenever it moves like vertically or horizontally. Yeah, it is ahead. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, I hate those mentors I had when they are like uh, in dangerous place with a lot of spikes. There we go. Time to go up here, and there we go. And this part here, for some reason, it reminds me to uh, elect man stage from Megaman 1. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can I use any weapons to break those heals here? No. 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 I don't think I don't I have any weapons to break the old seals here. So fuck this. I'm gonna move on. Oh my god, it's a little bit slippery here. I have to be careful not to fall down. Especially that those uh, cross enemies here, they just appear out of nowhere. I mean, respawn out of nowhere. There we go. Eat this. Eat this. Oh my god. Oh, there's something up here. Ah, oh, fuck this. I was dumb to doing this. I forgot there's a win. Okay, well, this time I'll be more careful. Yeah, it's my hell last uh, life as well. Oh my god. So, if I die on this one, it will be pretty much a game over. I have to redo the whole uh, stage again. Oh, I hate that minutes I had here. Fuck this. Oh, there's nothing there. 
So I just wasted a lot a live for nothing. Okay, so there you go, eat this, eat this, eat this. I'm going to the left here. Because it's easy to access to. There you go. Die, bastard. Oh my god. Crusting! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna use the uh, S hand. Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? S logo. Damn it! So slippery! Thank you. Alright. Almost near the end of the stage here. Alright, there you go. Oh, no refill? Alright, I'm gonna I'm going to face the boss here. Sight. Or seat, whatever. If you see the artwork of the, uh, the boss here, her clothes is like pretty much like ripped off because uh, she was fighting against all other enemies before uh, the main character. My God! Fuck you! There you go. Eat this. Oh my God! Yeah, this is her pattern for the first half of her health here. Fuck! Eat this. Eat this, eat this. Yeah, you just have to follow this pattern. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are more dangerous than before. Oh my god. No. My god. Eat this. Eat this. Oh my god. No. No, take this. But I messed it up. Oh, I died. Damn it. Oh, I died. Oh, my motherfucker. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll be right back because I don't want to show you like the whole stage one once again. Alright, I'm back where I failed the last time against this boss here. Yeah, I already got this. No, let's fight. No! Take this, take this! Oh my god. I didn't align myself very well. Oh my god. She got me. Oh my god. Eat this. Oh my god. Bitch. Eat this. Eat this. Eat this. She always get me. Oh my god. Almost got me. Oh my god. Oh. Die, bastard. Damn it, she was so annoying. Yeah, I beat you. Get lost. That clock tower at the back is pretty well done. Anyways, I got her reward. I mean, the weapons. It's web to fall. I don't know. I don't know if I'm spelling this right, but yeah, whatever. All right, uh, the last uh, RKS uh, team member that I have to face will be Zarn Zeppelin. So yeah, here we go. Breaking on. All right, cool. Yeah, you can see those plants are shooting those uh, bullets upwards and then it just fall down because of the gravity, I think. 
Oh yeah, those fireballs with smileys. Well, emoticons. Kinda reminds me to uh, those fires from uh, Mega Man 1, you know, Fireman stage. Yeah, it kinda reminds me of those enemies here. Oh my god, disappearing blocks. And yeah, this will be the main gimmick of this uh, stage here, disappearing blocks. There's a lot of them. So pay attention uh, to where you have to jump in order to be safe. There you go. Oh my god. And yeah, if you fall down to the lava below, it's pretty much an instant kill, so you need to be careful not to fall down to your death. There you go. And yeah, just earlier I can't those part the earlier age kind of reminds me to uh, Dr. Wally first stage from Game in One. All right, more disappearing blocks here. There you go. Oh, my health pretty much fall. I mean, fall all the weapons as well. Yeah, we are the you know hardest part of this uh, stage here. Which you have to time your jumps carefully with all those uh, despairing blocks everywhere. And yeah, I really mean it. I'm not really fans of those disappearing blocks, but I have to play the way that the games tell me to play. Alright, got this right. Now for the annoying part here. There we go, there we go. Oh my god. I almost screwed that up. There we go. One up, thank you. Now I have to go back. There we go. This is what you have to do. Kinda tricky, but uh, by practice you'll be able to go throughout this without too much trouble. Alright, the boss itself. Zorin's pretty unhappy right now. Always get upset. She's very uh, soft-tempered. I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, this is the pattern that you have to do, once you charge at you up while like uh, going to the walls, you just have to stay away from her. Like this, here. And once she throw those bombs, well you just have to move very quick, so she won't be able to aim at you directly. Oh my god. Bitch! Leave me alone, bitch! Oh my god. She's so annoying with this. Oh my god. Miss me. Oh, I managed to beat her. That's so hard. Oh yeah, about those uh, blocks that you see on the background. It, if, it, if it's uh, fill up, well, it's pretty much raw. You die and along with the boss. But it still counts as a loss because you have to res restart the whole uh, fight again. But anyways, I managed to beat her. I beat you, now you're leaving. And I got her reward. And yeah, Frost Fackle. And yeah, I already managed to beat uh, all the boss here, so I'm gonna stop uh, playing this right now since I start running out of time. So take care guys for the next episode of uh, Rose Interest Gillette, Fred and Satchel. Take care guys. <laughs>